Alright guys! Welcome back to Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Now when we last left off... We were told we had to go to... Woohoo University. So that we could find Cacletta, get the Beanstar... All that good stuff. But we're not going to do that. Because once we get to Woohoo University, what you're going to discover is that the enemies get a little bit more difficult. So instead, what we're going to do this episode is we're going to kind of do some side quests. So that'll hopefully be interesting. Yeah, we're going to explore the Bean Bean Kingdom a little bit more. Because there are some enemies we haven't encountered yet. And stuff like that. We have encountered these before, though. Now, hit him with the hammer. That's what we're going to be doing most of for today. We're going to be exploring around Bean Bean Fields. And we're going to be fighting enemies. Because we're going to want to grind up for two things. We're going to want to get Woo Beans and we're going to want to get money. And I'll show this fight because we have a new enemy. Lockapee. I think that's what his name is. Anyway, he's just gonna keep spawning these sharpies, so we wanna take care of him first. Oop. So, this is gonna be kind of a throwaway episode, honestly, because all I'm gonna be doing is grinding. Sorry, guys. We probably won't progress much today. Although this lock of me is pretty hardy. <clears throat> Although, since he keeps spawning these little pea guys, we should be able to get something pretty good out of this fight because each one of those guys will count for more experience and they don't seem to be hurting us very much there we go now we can take care of these guys so I'll be demonstrating new enemies off but I'll be I'll be doing the repeat battles off screen Mario, you need some bro points. Ah. And while we're at it, let's get some chuckle beans. So we'll just be gathering beans, getting coins, so we can buy new equipment, which is what I'm really doing. And we'll be looking around the bean bean kingdom. Yeah, here's a gate we can't get through. There's a block we can't break. Come equipped with super hammers. Oh no. Oh, no. Yeah, so those lock of these are kind of annoying. I probably will be just using bro attacks against them after this. Just to finish them quickly, because otherwise they're gonna spawn those sharpies just forever. Oh, here's a new enemy. Look at those in a minute. Can we explore some more? another fence we can't do anything with. Oh. Let's see what this does, since we can access this. Huh. Now let's see where we can go with this. Oh, 
Well, that was a big... Ugh. It's a whole lot of effort for nothing. So yeah, let's just let's just see the sights. Oops. And here's an enemy we haven't encountered before. Not you. You get out of the way. This one. Swarm. Um, they're kind of easy. Like, if we'd have encountered them at the beginning of the game, they might be worth showing off. But really, they just bite you and stuff, and they tunnel out of the ground. They're really pretty insignificant. But what's weird is that when I played this game for the first time, I didn't know that. So, like, I would always see these things popping out of the ground when I was on this field, and I would be like, well, what are those things? And I always thought there was some kind of weird, legendary enemy. They weren't, though. Ah, here we go. This is the two warp pipe that we missed earlier. So, we've taken care of that. So we are not getting anything in particular done this episode. We're going to keep going anyway. So yeah, I'll probably just be finding chuckle beans, getting in random fights, getting woo beans. You know, stuff like that. Honestly, there's not much to talk about really in this episode. I'm not going to be progressing, so... One thing I guess we can talk about is how weird this game is. Just in general. I mean, the last boss fight was against, like, Soda Pop. Oh, here's something interesting. Those little sprout things, those actually are Chuckle Bean spots also. So keep that in mind. But yeah, the last boss fight was against a bottle, a cask of like soda pop for Pete's sake. I mean, this game's this game's kind of wacky, you might say. All right, I want to deal with this pair of beanie. Okay, so here's pair of beanies. Jump on them; they lose their wings. And that's their only attack. They just swoop down and hit you. So honestly, they're really no more threatening than regular beanies. Except that they can take two hits. Just exploring. Probably get chuckle beans before we get woo beans. Let's go ahead and check that. Yeah, we have 17 chuckle beans. Eight more, and we'll be able to get a drink from the Star Beans Cafe. No, the other one. There we go. Well, that'll be good. Showing off star beans would be kind of interesting for this one. Now, if we go down this way, we're supposed to be able to get to Bean Bean International Airport, but we can't right now. Uh oh. I guess I'll keep this battle in, because I didn't know Parabeanies had a second attack. I mean, not that it'll matter, but I'll leave this in anyway, just because... to show off that attack. Plus, we got woo beans out of it, so that's always good. And what's this over here? Oh, inaccessible area. Uh, Studio of Har Hall, can't do anything with that yet. I mean, that's largely why I didn't show off the bean bean field at first, is because most of these places you're not going to be able to do anything with. We're actually coming up on the, um, whatchamacallit. Yes, we are coming up on the whatchamacallit. We're coming up on Woo Hoo University, which is where we're supposed to go. So obviously we're not going to go there yet. Hi. 
Now that way leads to Wu University. So let's keep exploring instead. Ah, there's a hidden area we can get to. Now, let Luigi go underground, and then he can go up here. Now we got a Who Bean. And I fell down. Now, when you're alone, I didn't talk about this, but you're kind of in danger when you're alone because, well, you don't have the safety net of having two people to hit. So you're sort of in danger. Because if you faint, that's, that's well, that's pretty much it. You're going down. Hopefully I can show off the other enemies. There's only about two or three more, I think. There's not that many. I know, it, I think there's two. And that's all I can think of. Eh, well, there are more, actually. But we don't want to go there yet. That area actually leads somewhere else that we might be able to get to, but probably don't want to go to. So let's just keep circling the castle, keep getting stuff, and we'll be good. And if I need any more money after this episode, well, I'm going to get it off screen. Now let's see what's over here. Oh, here's a place that we can't do anything with quite yet. Unless there's hidden blocks right here. I don't see any. Alright, let's hurry up and do the other thing. We need to show off the last couple enemies. Except for those bobs. We'll be showing those off later. Alright, so then there's these gentlemen. Tanumba. Kind of like Tanukis mixed with Goombas. And they can do this nifty little trick. So that's basically how they fight. Oh, and by the way, little trick, um, whenever they use that shape-shifting power, they're going to attack the other guy, the one that they're not. That's the tell for that. And then they do that move where they sort of tail swipe. Oh, come on. I, I hit that. That is a bald-faced line. No, use it on Mario. There we go. Okay, that was my bad. I got it too early. Yeah, and that attack's really easy to dodge. Like, there's not even a tell for that. It's just when they get close, jump. So they're gonna try to tail swipe, yeah. Really straightforward. Ah. Well, we got some more woo beans out of that at least. more enemy around here I wanted to demonstrate. I think it's on the next screen. Yeah, there it is. Let's see if I can get the jump on this one. Let me heal up actually first. Let's see if I can get the jump on this guy. Charge me so I can jump on you. Yes! Yeah. 
Yes! Okay, now the trick for these guys' attacks is you gotta watch their shadow. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just terrible at this. Okay, so these are paratroopies. Now, there are also Koopa troopies. I guess they're basically like variants on Bowser's types of enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot they could do this. And they can heal each other. We might want to actually save these guys for later. They're pretty tough. Well, that about covers all the Bean Bean area stuff. We got that pipe, we got a bunch of Chuckle Beans. We're doing alright. Alright, now what I want to do is go into the equipment shop and see how much... And see how much equipment I need. See what I'm trying to get at. Let me see. Well, let's see. These increase. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, equipment's kind of complicated because obviously the hard pants. And the blue jeans are about equivalent. Namely, that they don't increase your HP. Well, the blue jeans actually do. They increase your defense more. And if we get the hard pants, we're going to increase Mario's defense without increasing his HP. Luigi will get a slight defense boost, but his defense boost, or a slight HP boost, but his defense boost won't be as high. So these are the pants we're going to shoot for for our equipment. As for badges, really I just want to get the Bean B badge for both of them, because it's basically an upgrade to the Bean badge. Matter of fact, we can get those right now. Obviously that leaves us with very little money to get these two items. But, um, we'll be able to get them sooner or later. Go ahead and sell. Things. We're gonna go ahead and sell the P badge. We're gonna hold on to the bean badge just cause. Just cause. But um so yeah, we need about 200 more coins actually. So what that'll probably involve doing is going somewhere besides bean bean fields where the enemies are either too easy or too hard for us to handle. And getting some more money. We've actually got a little more time, so let's check how many beans we have. 22. Alright. Let's go look for more beans. Because I think this would be something good to show off. Since we're not going to do anything else in this episode, I might as well demonstrate something. Gotta let's go back up to Hoo Hoo Mountain. Yeah, here we go. We actually will be able to do this. This won't even take that long, actually. And just like that, and just like that, we have 25 chuckle beans. 
which is good. This is a good time, because now I can demonstrate something. Once we get back to being being ca- uh, I don't even know why they bother to make you do those fights. Alright, that was my bad. I just walked right into that one. I mean, these battles are so short, they're almost not worth editing out. Alright, so this will be the last thing we do in this episode, I'm thinking. And then next episode, I'll either be a lot more experienced and have new equipment. Because I don't think I'm not, I'm not going to show you that. Or I'm going to go straight to Woohoo University and not worry about getting new equipment. Anyway. Alright, now. No, 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 no. We're going to do the Chuckle Blend, because we have 25 Chuckle Beans. Push down, insert the beans. And there you go. But. Yes, that's all going good. But. Something else is going to happen. Does that music sound familiar? Ah! Professor Elvin Gad. Yes, and Professor Gad is the one who built the cafe. He owns it, he invented the bean machine. Big surprise there. Well, at least we get to hear the music from Luigi's Mansion again. But there's something else Egad can do for us. And here's something else that goes along with this, is that each time you get a new drink, Egad will want to sample it. Now you still get to have the drink, but you also get an item. Now this is the Greed Wallet. No, I'm good. Do I... Okay, well that was my fault, because I pushed the wrong thing. In case you wanted to see, those are the things. See ya. Yeah, you're so sad. Anyway, so what we got from Egad was the Greed Wallet. Now, you have a third equipment slot, accessories. This is only for things you're going to get from Egad, interestingly enough, so that's, that's kind of cool, I guess. Anyway, you can equip accessories and those will change things in battle. You have the Greed Wallet now, so we can equip that. That'll make our job of getting coins so we can buy new equipment a heck of a lot easier. So we're going to equip that right away. But yeah, let me just find a save point, and... You know what? I'm probably not going to worry about it, because with the Greed Wallet, after we step into the Hooniversity, we're probably going to get enough money to afford that equipment really soon. So I'm not even going to worry about it. We're just going to go straight on to the Hooniversity next time. So I'll see you then.